Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I want to do a chit chat video with you guys. I haven't done one of these in very long. Sorry if I'm looking like there's like an L. So there's like my camera monitor, my mirror, and then my monitor monitor um, that I'm using to like look. So I'm kind of like making sure I'm in focus on my monitor, making sure that's translated in my camera monitor, and I'm also checking myself out in my mirror. So I'm sorry if my eyes kind of do this a lot. But I wanted to come through and do a sit down chit chat video with you guys. This was going to be a getting ready with me. And I had started doing my makeup and talking about some of this stuff while I was doing my makeup. But I just felt like I was rambling. And I feel like when I do get ready with me chit chat videos, I feel like everything just gets rambling. I just keep going and going and going and going and going. And I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not getting straight to the point of why you're here. Um, so I wanted to do that. I wanted to like, just, I was just like, you know, forget it. So I had just finished doing my makeup off camera and I came and I'm going to sit down and film this video. Finally, <laughs> um, not finally, but I just haven't done one of these in a very long time. And um, yeah, so I want to share some things with you guys, do some updates, some life updates, some things to look forward to here on my channel and off of YouTube. Um, and I want to get to that. Um, but first, before we get into the video, please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me when you guys are subscribed and when you guys are commenting on my videos. I do try to comment and reply to most of the comments that I get, unless they're like offensive or disrespectful or like just unnecessary, then I probably will either delete it or I'll let I'll just I'll ignore it <laughs> um but um I hope you guys definitely subscribe to my channel I really really appreciate it if you are subscribed already make sure your notifications are turned on um I am not on a schedule right now of when I upload so I kind of get here when I can which usually ends up happening being every week or every other week so turn your notifications on so you guys are alerted when I turn on a video that really really helps me as well and helps you guys know when I actually upload or when a new video has went live. Um, follow me on Instagram if you are ever curious about when I'm uploading. I usually post it on Instagram first to let you know, hey, a video is coming out on Friday. Um, I've also been trying to use the YouTube community thing. Um, like they have their little stories and stuff like that. So I'll try and use that as well sometimes. So just to make sure your notifications are turned on here on YouTube and on Instagram so you guys get all my notifications and you guys don't miss an upload. Um, and before we jump into the video, I did not relax my hair. It is straightened. I haven't straightened my hair like this in a very long time. I think the last time I straightened it, I used like that styling brush. I will link that video in the card somewhere. That was the last time I straightened my hair. But I, this time I used a flat iron, which I have not done in a very long time. I mean, I like. I think the last time I actually flat ironed my hair was when I was one year natural. That was the last time I actually used a flat iron. I didn't even use it. I went to the salon. Um, so I will like. I, I'm I'm trying out this new like hair care regimen thing um, for the summer. Not summer. What is this? Fall winter time frame. And we're gonna see how this goes. Um, so I will definitely be doing another a video on me straightening my hair because I will definitely be doing it again before the season's up and get into more details about that in that video. But before this intro is just hella long, I just wanted to give you guys just those few tips, but let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so I'm trying to do this video again, and I'm going to try and keep it under 20 minutes, and I feel like I start rambling. Um, this video may be in two parts, just because I feel like um, I don't want to end this video on a low note. I want to end it on a high note, but I don't feel like I'll be able to accomplish that all in one video. So this may be the video, might be a Debbie Downer video, or might just be... I think it's more of a self-reflection kind of video um, as far as this. And then I may do a part two and go into the knife or lighter things that I have to talk about and things coming up that I want to talk to you about. Um, but for right now, I just want to address one thing and one main thing. Um, so you guys know here on my channel, it is a beauty channel. I talk about hair, natural hair. I talk about makeup. I talk about natural skincare. I talk about, you know, body care. Um, not like body, like workout body. I mean, like lotions and soaps and things like that um but it's not a lifestyle channel 
it is a beauty channel nonetheless. But there are aspects of my life that I included into that, like personal aspects of my life that, like, falls into that. And I've discussed relationships, um, my personal relationship and, like, my daughter and things like that. Um, I haven't discussed those things probably here in a, in a while. Like, it's been a couple years, honestly, um, that I've talked about any of those things. And for reasons, um, but... Um, like almost like it didn't start off on purpose and then it became on purpose that I, I wasn't including certain things into my channel. Um, but long story short, um, me and Fernando did break up. We broke up back in February. Um, but if you guys are like investigative, you might have noticed I haven't actually posted him on any of my social media since April of last year and the only reason that I know it was April is because I, I like me and my girlfriends were having a conversation I had to scroll through and look like when was the last time I posted him on whatever um and that was actually April of last year again it was something that was like even I think that picture was like the first picture in a very long time so I it probably like if I took that picture out, it would have been even longer since I posted a picture of him, I think, um, or something like that. I don't know. Or it was just a really good day, and I posted it. But nonetheless, I haven't even discussed him or talked about him or mentioned him um, anywhere on my social media. If you guys are very investigative, which I don't think most of my subscribers are, I think they're really here for like the beauty aspect of things, and maybe a little bit here taste of my life because um, I've never presented my channel to be anything other than that. Um, so I wanted to adjust that and I guess, um, give a little backstory. I'm not going to get into details of the actual breakup. I'm just going to talk about how, not so much how we got there, but how it has affected, not affected me because obviously it affected me before the breakup, which is why we broke up. Um, but I guess I want to discuss, um, just women as an aspect of it when it comes to relationships so you guys know you when you got when I started my channel I started my channel a little before probably about a year before me and Fernanda were together but it really I really really started doing videos a lot lot more when I had Big Chopped which was back in 2011 and me and Fernando had been dating for about six months at the time and that was probably the first time you guys were introduced to him. So just think, that was in 2011. And we've been, me and him were together since 2000, the end of 2010. So we're in 2019 now. So we were together for about a year and a half before we actually broke up. Like this October that just passed would have been nine years that we were together. Um, issue in itself. Um, so just understand that we, me and Fernando have a very long history um, as far as being together and we've never been off. And what I mean we've never been off, like we've never broken up for, for a year or six months or a month. or We've never been off. We've been on for eight and a half years, period. Like there was no breaks. There was no nothing. It was, we were together. <laughs> like, the, like to put it into perspective, like I was committed to our situation 100%, period. Like, there was no chance of anybody else getting in, in this door, okay? So, I'll put it that way. So, we were consistently together. There was never an off time. There was never a period when we weren't together. I'm not going to sit here and be like, the entire eight years were shits and giggles. Like, no, we went through, like, not we went through things. Um, I experienced things that I never thought I had to I knew it would come because of the baggage he came with, so I knew certain things were going to be a part of our journey and part of our history, um, but I also made it very clear at the beginning of our relationship, with that being said, with that baggage already being there, you have a very small window to fuck up with me. And I believe that part up because I don't want YouTube to demonetize my video, okay? Um, so you have a very small, small gap so with me okay there's a small gap because there was already a package like a package and a baggage that you came with that wasn't going anywhere and I already knew that that came I knew early on that that came with certain dramas and certain <laughs> okay like I understood that I knew that um I knew that very early on I learned that very early on and at the end of the day you can't control people you can only control how you react so I was okay with I was okay with dealing with that and keeping moving and but 
amongst other things that were happening and that has happened, I feel like once I became a mother specifically, I'm not going to go through eight years or like the first five years of our relationship. I'm going to just pretty much base it off of me being pregnant moving forward. Um, at the time that I got pregnant, pregnant, I felt like we were in a very um, good space. I, I mean, I thought we were in a very good space. I thought we were very happy. I thought we were, you know, kind of over certain little like, dramas and things like that I, I felt like we were kind of a little past that and and like well beyond past that and um we we're just in a really good space and um to me I felt I don't know maybe I was delusional <laughs> we can go there we can say when I was delusional I don't know who knows I could I could have very well been freaking delusional um but at that moment um, when I was pregnant and certain things came out while I was pregnant, it was almost like a, 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 a I don't know, like a, like a, a bullet to the gut, like almost like, not like, not like really a bullet to the gut, but you get what I'm saying? It was like a bullet to the gut, like a, like a, almost like that when <laughs> you ever ask, like, and I'm not like very religious or anything like that, but you ever be like, God, give me a sign that this is not it. You know, we're like, I'm not that religious to even to think that, but like, let's just say that I was, and that's what the God give me a sign that this God give me a sign, brother, go left or right. That sign had happened, and um, but I also had damage now, so it wasn't as easy as just being like, you kind of saying um so I'm kind of upset that it happened at that point I was upset for a very long time that it happened at that point um but even then I was kind of I was I was gun hunt on being but at the same time I had to get through this pregnancy as happy and as possible as I can because I didn't want certain energies to trend like I'm big on energies I'm big on vibes I'm big big on all those types of things, and I didn't want that to be translated to my baby. Like, I wanted her to be as happy and as loved and, as, and feel that in the womb as much as she can. And I feel like I really did my best on doing that. And I definitely did. Like, I, I, I was the happiest when I was pregnant. Like, beyond, I, I was the happiest pregnant girl I've ever seen. And everybody used to be complaining about being pregnant. I'm just like, what? Being pregnant is amazing. Like, I, I had no issues. Like, morning sickness. What? I think the only time my feet swell was at my baby shower, and that was because I had heels on. And, I mean, it was to be expected, but, like, literally, from beginning to end, like, your girl was good. <laughs> like, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have heartburn. I didn't have, uh, I didn't have time, time going to the bathroom. I, I ate good. I, I didn't eat, like, crazy. I didn't put on a, a ton of weight when I got pregnant or, like, anything. I think I put on, like, 15, maybe 20 pounds. Um... I, they took me three pushes to get her out. She was out. Like, it, I was good. You know, this, my baby came out ready. ready. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, to be honest, and I talked about that in my labor and delivery story. Um, but after that, it became, um, I think, when you now have a baby involved in a situation, it's almost like I don't have time to deal with that. I have a child I need to focus on. And I think that became the running Thing in my head like I don't have time to do with that I need to worry about this I have to worry about this and making sure that she's okay this is fine this is fine you know what I'm saying I kept putting off every every negative or or feeling that I had in my head okay I just kept pushing that to the back to the to the to the very end like it was just not I just couldn't focus on that because I had a whole child that I was breastfeeding that I was caring for that was learning and figuring out how can I be a good mother um and it was something and, and and I guess once everything like once that gut punch came um it almost felt like you know it reminded it got the the wheels turning of why I said I never wanted kids now don't get me wrong I love my daughter I do love her all that but there was a there was a very I mean pretty much up until like I'm not even say met Fernando. Like we were together for like years before I even considered it and even thought about it um, about having kids. Like it was always like a no. Like it was always like if anyone were to ask me any guy that I dated, no, I don't want any. Like no, no, <laughs> not having it. So it took me even the majority of me and Fernando's relationship. It was always a no. It was always like, not that he ever asked me. It was just always like when it came to conversation or we were like, when are you guys going to have kids? Never. 
I don't understand. What's the question? Like, no, it's not happening. Um, but I had got, I had gotten to a point where like, you know, I let my guard down. I, you know, you get to those points where, you know, you fall in love and whatever. But after my daughter was here, there was a lot of, um, a, a lot of those things that just had went on while I was pregnant and all those types of things. And after, um, that I just, I just didn't have the tolerance to deal with, like even the baggage that he had before me. Um, I just didn't even have the tolerance to deal with it. It was just kind of like, I don't got time to worry about all that. Like I got my own, my own damn child to worry about. And I don't really have time to worry about everything else. I need this to be my focus. And for a long time, that was my focus. And you guys know, um, if you've been following me before, sorry, I'm like doing the most. Um, you guys have followed me, you know, pretty much 2017 was like rough, 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 rough for me. And I felt like even between 2017 and now, everything has just been a yo-yo. And I'm, I'm looking at the time because I want to make sure I keep this particular video under, under 20 minutes. Um, and I'm already at 12. So, sorry. <laughs> um, um, it was just a really yo, it's been a yo-yo two years, to be honest, 2000. Pretty much this time, 2017, and now it's been a yo-yo. It's been up and down, up and down, up and down. Me trying to find balance. Me trying to, you know, get out of um, working for the man and all those types of things. It's just been really up and down. I haven't had the ability to really just focus on what Renell wants. But um, probably about halfway through 2018, I want to say that I really dedicated myself to really getting back into learning myself not learn like relearning myself or re just refocusing everything on myself like obviously my daughter was always a focus but it also as a woman as a mother you also need to be centered and you also need to be just as connected with yourself and understand your body your feelings just as much as anything else going on in your life and I really spent the last um pretty much spent that second half of 2018 on into really like honing back into all those things that I used to do before I had my daughter before I was in a relationship like meditation was a big part of my life for a very long time um before Fernando in the early parts of our relationship and I realized once I took a lot of that it wasn't on purpose it was just like you got caught up doing so many other things that just certain things kind of fell to the wayside and once I actually like got back into that and like really reconnecting with myself just as a woman it just it just enlightened me on a lot of other things and like opened myself up to experience sorry I don't want to get all teary <laughs> I feel like my eyes are watering I'm trying not to because my makeup looks too good and I don't want it to start smearing and I start looking ugly. But you really get a sense of, like, who you are. Like, and, it, and mind you, I was going through this transition privately. Like, no one knew that I had certain feelings about my relationship. And that it was something that I, I felt like I needed to deal with first and really hone in on what I was going to do, what I feel I need to do. Being centered, being calm, being not gauge, not wanting to get to a place of like I don't know bitterness and it, it's very hard to not be bitter it's 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 very hard not to be it takes a lot of strength not to be bitter not to be angry it's very hard um and I've I've never been that person like I, I may be mad about a breakup like I've been mad about a makeup and a uh, breakup and stuff like that and ran on some rant, rants and pants but it, it doesn't last long. I'll put it that way. Like that, that feeling for me doesn't last long. That whole like resent, not resentment thing, but the whole feeling of a breakup. Like it, it, it doesn't last long for me because I, I knew back then that someone else better will come along. Like I always, I always had this in my mind. Like okay, we broke up. I'm upset. I'm pissed about it. But. Um, something else better will always happen. So it never lasted long um, as far as, like, those initial feelings of a breakup. Like, for me, um, like, even, like, if I think about, like, the first time someone, like, broke my heart, like, that particular person, like, I love that person with all my heart. And I, it took me a little while. I wasn't, I was pissed off in the beginning. I mean, wrong. And I went on little, little tangents here and there on, on, on Facebook. You know, that was that was our thing back then. But and it was it lasted a couple of days. And then that it was like I was silent about it. It was just, you know what I'm saying? I, I moved on. You know, I didn't let it 
I didn't, I didn't let I don't let relationships hold me back from loving the next person and I've always been that way and I've always um been that type of person so for me um when 2018 came and my daughter was getting older and I wasn't really happy in my relationship in like my working situation and all those types of things I really felt like I needed to really just hone in on myself and like really make myself the focus moving forward and I feel like everything else would come into place so don't get me wrong it was super difficult and it was super difficult to do alone um because I really didn't want to tell anyone because I didn't want anyone like talking in my ear about this or maybe you should do this maybe you should do this maybe you should add I had already did that I spent a lot of time doing that and always you know considering um people's ideas and people's suggestions and people saying I realized at the end of the day only I know what's best for me like even the kid thing like don't get me wrong like I, like I said I love Nia but there were people who were in my life were like well you don't think not even what you don't think it was more like well, you seem like you really love him so like I don't understand why you it hasn't changed your mind yet like granted it did change my mind eventually at some point about the whole kid thing. But at the same time, I feel like if I hadn't lost that that centered piece of me, like that, Brunel, you know you and you know how you are, I feel like it would have never happened. Which I guess it was a good thing that it broke down because obviously I got something good out of it. But I feel like if I would have stayed centered and really focused on like just being true to who I was. Like I, I know who I am. I know I, I can tolerate. I know what I can handle. I know what I wanted or want in general overall big picture and I knew that then um as far as like before me and Fernando were together I was pretty clear on that I was pretty like I had pretty much reached a place of like no this is what I'm gonna get this is what I want um and I allow people like you know you need to be a little bit more flexible you're so like not rigid because I'm, I'm like definitely open and loving and caring and things like that but I, there were certain things I was very rigid and like I didn't bend on like I didn't date anyone with kids like if post Fernando like or pre Fernando I didn't date anyone with kids like that was like oh you got a kid like no like we're not talking like that was always there were certain things that I was very strict on about dating so now don't get me wrong now that I'm back out here in the streets I refuse to date someone who doesn't have a kid because I refuse for someone to think that I'm going to give them a kid so things change um as far as that aspect but um there were certain like things that I was definitely rigid about and not willing to bend on and I bent on a lot of those things um when I met Fernando because I felt like you know it it was worth it um so to speak because I feel like we all make changes when that person is marked you know we all change for that one person that's the same that everyone says right so I felt like that was the one person um but like I said once I recentered and really focused on everything that I wanted and I started looking at different aspects of my life and the people that I wanted in my life and the people that were interested to have in my life um it came with a lot of um I had to let go of a lot of things and that's what I did so long story short I'm coming up on the 20 minute mark so I'm gonna wrap this up um nonetheless we broke up back in February none of once once I reached that point of comfortability of saying you know this isn't working and this isn't going the way that I pictured it going and um yeah that's what happened so we broke up and um we're co-parenting as best as we can um it's very difficult sometimes to co-parent when some one person wants one thing and another person wants another um but it kind of it is what it is like it we just got to make it work because um I don't see myself being back with him at this point um not I'm not gonna like I guess I can say never but people say don't never say never so I won't say never but at this point in my life and where I am and has where I feel like I've transitioned to I don't feel like um I'll be back in that space again um <laughs> I personally don't see it if it, if it is if it does happen it will happen naturally organically um or somehow but um, my focus isn't like I'm single trying to get back with my ex like that's not where I'm at like I'm not at that place uh, there are a couple girls here that it's so funny like when we broke out there's a couple girls that I watch here on YouTube there's um Alyssa forever and um oh, I forgot her name 
let me find it real quick because she's I really like watching her oh Victoria Victoria's house here on YouTube uh, so I really wanted to find her name because um, her channel and Alyssa Forever um, I feel like they went through a breakup this year as well it's so funny like Victoria she she was the first person that I happened to go to her channel and she was talking about her ex and things like that and which happens to be her son's father as well and she was talking about their break and I feel like her and her uh, boyfriend they were together pretty much if not as long as me and Fernando just a little maybe even longer um, I really really enjoyed watching her video and like their situation because I feel like they're trying to get back together so like they're in therapy and things like that so I've been interested in watching I watch a lot of her videos as it pertains to them now, I watch her videos in general but I've been watching their transition and in, in learning and changing things like that. Um, and Alyssa Forever, it's a little bit different. I don't think her and her boyfriend were together as long as me and Fernando. But she checks in sometimes about her therapy sessions. And some of them like really hit home when she talks about them and being in certain types of relationship or you're attracted to certain types of people in relationships. And I really like connect with her there too. So I really like watching both of their channels. Um, also, there's Jalea. She's actually married, but I feel like her feelings as far as being to a mother and trying to find time and do everything else besides being a mother, I connect with her there too. So I like watching like little things like that on like um, YouTube and it's like kind of funny like when me and Fernanda broke up, it was like all of a sudden I saw like Alyssa had broken with her boyfriend and Victoria had broken with her boyfriend. I was just like, oh shit, like what is this, breakup season or whatever. <laughs> It was just funny to me, um, but some of those things, like when I watch videos like that, it really kind of puts certain things into perspective or gives you something to think about moving forward because not everybody, time you break up with somebody, you have to get back together. And even if you forgive that person, that doesn't equal you getting back together. Um, you can forgive somebody and not get back with that person. Just And just because someone forgives you doesn't mean they owe you um, like, oh, well, you forgive me. So like, shouldn't we be back together then? Like, no, it's not really how it works. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not everything goes hand in hand in that aspect. And just because I also think that just because you guys break up doesn't mean you'll never get back together. It's like Victoria and her boyfriend. Like, they're working towards being back together. In my situation, I'm not really interested in working on getting back together um, at this point. Um, I feel like I'm enjoying being single. Um, I'm, I'm not going to sit here in line and say that I am, like, um, I'm not a, I, I'm a relationship girl, like, I'm, I'm a relationship person, um, so me being single, it's fun for now, um, but I know, I don't ever look for a relationship, I just use, like, relationships usually find me, like, me and Fernando got together, I wasn't planning on being in a relationship, I actually planned on being single for a little while, and relationships find me, I feel like, that's where I'm at. Like, like relationships find me because I don't, I don't suppress my feelings. So if I feel a certain way towards someone, they know and I express it. Um, I've gotten worse at doing that because I've just been learning to just suppress them a little bit more. Um, and it's not, it's on purpose, but it is what it is. I just, you know, sometimes I just can't deal or I'm just, I don't want to know the latter of the two. So unless for sure, I know that person feels the same way about me. I'm, I'm not, I, I, I have chosen not to express it anymore. Um, unless that person does first. And if I feel the same way, that's probably bad, but it is what it is. For um, and so, so yeah, so that's one update that I wanted to give you guys. I'm going to end this particular video here now, and then I will be back with part two and give you guys some, you know, just lighter note things and some dating things that's been going on, but maybe not much detail on the dating things because there's really nothing to talk about. But I'm going to end this video here, but I just wanted to give you guys that particular update because I knew that would take up pretty much the majority of the video because that's a big chunk of my life that I haven't mentioned, I haven't talked about here in this video. So I'm sorry that this video is probably almost 30 minutes, but if you guys already stuck through through the end, then thank you, girl and guy. Um, or whatever you identify as um, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel make sure you guys stay tuned for part 2 I have some more exciting news that I want to discuss with you guys and go over and just give you guys a little bit more updates and a little bit more positivity besides this Debbie Downer video which I don't think it was really a Debbie Downer video I feel like you know 
we all go through some self we have to go back sometimes and refine ourselves so that's what I did and I hope you guys appreciate and understand that if you guys have any questions or like have any follow-up questions leave them down below I'll probably do a Q&A pretty soon after the next couple of videos um yeah so I will see you guys next time bye